Hello, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor. And today I'm gonna to show you how to play a short bunker shot with a very high lip. And this one's for you, Angie McGlue. I hope you don't mind me mentioning you, but I've got a lot of people that have sent in requests, how can I possibly get out of a bunker I struggle? And I know Angie's had some issues with that. So I'm gonna show you how to play it out of a bunker with a high lip. And I know where you play Angie, you've got a lot of those. So it's not as hard as you think, but the way I like to approach it is first of all, where I see most people going wrong in bunkers is they're really trying to help scoop the ball out and they're sort of falling back to their right, they're lifting up and that results in making contact in the ground behind the ball. It also means that the, the club is, once it hits there, it's coming up and it's topping it. So what we really want to do is we want to get as much loft as we can. I have my nice Mizuno T7 60 degree sand wedge there. So there's a lot of loft on a 60 degree sand wedge. Loft is your friend, particularly in this shot. So if I put that down there, you can see there's a heap of loft on it. So all I need to do is get the club under the ball and the loft will take care of itself as long as I've got enough momentum. So the first thing I would be practicing if I was uh, trying to get better at this shot is I would be just thinking not about the technique, but thinking about can I get sand out onto the green? Because if the sand comes out onto the green, so will the ball. So from here, it's just have a few practice swings. And what I see a lot of people doing is they start doing this. So they hit the sand, they hit under the ball, but there's no momentum. So that sand just stopped halfway in the face there. We really want to get this out. So once we've gotten used to hitting sand out onto the green, the next thought I have is I want to finish with high hands. Because one thing I have learned is if I finish with high hands, the ball comes out high. If I finish with low hands, the ball comes out low. I definitely want to finish with high hands on this one. I want the ball to come up and out. So the ball is just very slightly forward of centre. I lean just slightly in, I'm not too much, just slightly forward toward the target. I don't worry about opening my club face and adding loft. There's enough loft on this club to do the job for me. But I'm thinking about getting sand out and momentum. So we'll see how I go. So that one came out. That's probably about two club lengths away from the flag. Not a bad result, little downhill putt. I probably shouldn't have hit it there. But you could see that sand came out and the ball came out. So I've just given this a little rake. We're in COVID-19 conditions, so rakes are no, not in the bunker at all. I've just given it a bit of a rake over with my foot. So uh, the bunkers here at Lang Lang are fantastic. It reminds me a lot of sand belt golf courses. So uh, we're only about an hour and a quarter from Melbourne here. Well worth a visit if you want to play a nice uh, course, a lot of the courses in Melbourne are wet at the moment. Uh, I've given a playing lesson today and the course is perfect. Really good fairways. So let's see how we go. Main thing to think of though is we're going to get under the ball, sand's coming out, high hands, make sure we've got momentum and the rest we let the club do. Probably not the best shot I've ever hit but the important thing is the ball has come out. So that's finished about three clubs out to the right. Oh, it looks like it's rolling. No, it's continuing to roll. That's probably gonna come off the green. Oh no, it just stopped. So at one stage it was a lot closer than it was. So you gotta be careful, but mostly when you're in the bunker, let's just get it out. Get it out, two putt, move on. Don't worry about how far away it is. Don't think about, oh, I've gotta get this close. You just think, let's get it out. So there you have it. They're my ways of playing a high lipped bunker shot. It's not as complicated as you think. Don't overcomplicate it. Keep it simple. Hit down, follow through, high hands and move on. Thank you for letting me help you with your golf. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.